Welcome back to the studio. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'm here to host Nick Mylowski, Senior Product Manager for Data Studio. And today we're really excited to introduce a brand new feature called Data Control. That's right, it's a new feature. We just launched it a few days ago. We're really excited about it, and we want to show you how it works. This is out to everybody, is that right? Everybody can use it today. Okay, so one thing we talked about a lot with Data Studio is the fact that you can take reports that a long time ago, maybe even last year, you'd have to go in and customize in GA, hand roll, and then put them out. And now today you have visually appealing, highly valuable dashboards. So can you tell me what data control is all about to make it even easier? Like you said, exactly. A lot of people want to use Data Studio to customize the reports with Google Analytics data. The challenge is that many people have Google Analytics views and they have to create a report for every single view. Well, with the data control, this new functionality allows you to create one report, kind of like a template, add the control in the report, and then you can actually see all of your views data within the report. What's even cooler about it is when I share this report with the control, all viewers can now see their data in the report. And that's what makes it really powerful. Now, I have a lot of questions about this, but yeah. why don't we go ahead and jump into the demo uh, so I don't preempt any of your cool demo. Absolutely, let's just show you how easy it is. So let's go to the demo here. So here I have a Google Analytics report. This is the same one that you, you can build today, and it has a default uh, view. So we've added this new control in the toolbar, data control. I'll go ahead and click it and just add it to my report just like that. Now when I go into view mode, I can click on it and I'll see all the views I have access to. It's pretty cool. So you have a lot of views. So if I want to come into here and view this view, I can select it and it'll go ahead and update. Now there's no data in here, fair enough, but I can come in here and actually I can select some of these other views and you can see the data here is querying. So this becomes really powerful because I can create an experience and now start viewing all of my data through that experience or I could share this with my customers and allow them to see their data through the experience I've created. So you talked about this from a view standpoint. Often with Data Studio, we talk about two different you know, scenarios. One is the person who's creating the report, and the second is the person that they share it with. So in this case, it looked like as the recipient who's viewing the shared report, you're only able to see those analytic uh, databases that you have access to. Correct. So is there like a login password type of thing going on when they get a Data Studio report? Right, if you share this report, for example, if I shared it with you, if you're the first time coming to Data Studio, it'll prompt you to log in, give access to Data Studio, there's a little message there. And once you've given access to Data Studio, it's strictly a relationship between you and your data in the report. The unique aspect is that I've created the report. Now as an owner, I don't see your data, you get to see your own data, but it makes it really powerful because you don't have to create anything. You can just start seeing your data in the report that somebody else has uh, authored. Right, and so one thing you were talking about was just with this new feature, how much simpler it is to get from a blank sheet to getting a report that's customized. Can you tell us what's been sped up with this new feature? Absolutely, so in the past, what you would have to do is you have to create a report, you have to add a data source to it, select your Google Analytics account, select your view, add it to the report, and then you have to become your designer. You have to have your design hat on, you have to start building out all the experiences. With this new data control, we've updated our templates, so that way you can go in any of the templates that we have for Google Analytics data. You can just start there and you can see your data. You just go to the template, select your view, and you'll see your data in that report. That's how easy it is to use. And where do you see people using this? Is, is this like a big company type of situation where they're sharing it with a lot of people at once and each one of them only wants to see a subset of that data? Or is this for small and medium businesses as well? It's, it's a good question. There's definitely people who have a lot of uh, Google Analytics views and it'll definitely help them. For example, we've seen companies, large enterprises that have many different Google Analytics uh, implemented on different websites across different brands and they want a consistent corporate reporting. So now they can actually use Data Studio, create that consistent experience, share it with their hundreds of users, and everybody who has access to their Google Analytics view will be able to see it in that curated experience. For large agencies who manage many different customers, they have to manage many views. They can actually create a new Data Studio report with analytics data, and they can actually start viewing all of their customers' data within a single view without having to recreate it for every, every customer. And then finally, for agencies or designers who want to showcase what's possible, they can actually create a data studio report with the control, and then now allow their customers to actually view their data in, in the report. And so for agencies who, are, who may be articulating certain KPIs for a certain type of business that they want to improve, they can actually create these reports, allow customers to start seeing what's important about the business, and then start talking about how to start improving that business. Excellent. Now one thing I always talk about when we mention Data Studio to different customers is the fact that you can pull in from different data sources. You know, it's not just Google Analytics. Right. So how does data control impact other sources besides GA today? 
Great question. So today we have support for Google Analytics, which we're announcing, and we'll be adding support for all the other connectors over the next few months. So we're really excited to bring this technology to all the different connectors that we support in the product. Okay, so the one thing people want to know, how can I get my hands on this and try it right away? Right, so it's a release to everybody. As you saw in the edit mode in the report, it's a new button, you can start using it right away. We've also linked templates uh, from our blog post uh, where you can go and just start playing with your data uh, right away. So it's really easy to get started. Cool. All right, well, instead of us up here talking the whole time, I want to have them uh, taking a look down at their computers, filing it away, going to datastudio.google.com and getting started. So thank you for those of you checking in. Thank you for being Data Studio users. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Lewis Gray, checking out.